What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris, back with you with another video. Um, now, guys, I, I covered another, uh, you know, video that I had done prior. It was like a long time ago. And this one's another one that, that I think is highly controversial. Because um, either people, some people are on board. Well, actually, a lot of people are on board. And some people think I'm batshit. And that's okay. Because I've done my homework. And what I see in this picture, um, they look like vehicles. Now... Before you guys jump off the video going, oh boy, he's lost his mind. Let me explain some things first before I even show you this picture. Now, I've done this a while back. This was from Solve 510 and 515. Okay. Now, th what's crazy about this, let me, let me just say this. First of all, we have had cars here on Earth for how long? Well, it's been what? Uh, since what? 1800s? Uh, I think it was upper. It was, like eight, it was the late 1800s. Uh, it was crude, don't get me wrong. They had cars that were just basically wood with four wheels. Some of them were steam and some of them were electric. Yes, they had electric cars back in the 1800s. Of course, they were crude. They just had a simple goofy battery and electric motor with a switch. It just went back and forth. You had forward and reverse, which basically changed the polarity of the motor, um, giving you forward and reverse. Pretty simplistic. Um, so, and they had wheels. Okay, what is it, 115 years later, roughly 120 years later? We still have wheels. We have doors. And guess what? Don't expect to see the car disappear for a long, long time. You're, you're probably talking another 100 years. People are going, well, you don't understand. There's going to be flying cars. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. But it's going to be for the elite. And it's going to people. It's going to be the you know for the filthy rich. People with more brain, well, I should say more money than brains. But can you imagine? I mean, people can't drive cars on the road. Can you imagine everybody having a flying car? Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Here's another problem. You have to have the surrounding technologies catch up with the regular technology. And what I mean by is this. A lot of you people probably have an FFV, which is a flex fuel vehicle. I do. It's well, Basically, it'll run on E85, which is uh, it's a fuel that's 85% ethanol. And the reason why, you know, here's my problem. I can't find one. Then ha I can't find a gas station that has the, has the fuel unless I go to like a 50 or 100 miles away from my house, which defeats the purpose of trying to save any money. Um, so I'd love to have it because, first of all, it's more efficient. It burns cooler. Um, you won't have to change your oil as much because if anybody knows anything about engines, you've got on each of your pistons, you have two rings. You have a compression ring and you have a, an oil ring. Well, every manufacturer, every car manufacturer has what they call a burn-off point which means it's allowed to burn off so much oil. It, it basically blows by these rings and it gets burned in the fuel process, in the burning of the fuel process. And, but you also have fuel, the fuel that you burn also has contaminants that go into the oil. So it works both ways. By using the ethanol, it's cleaner. It doesn't have the contaminants regular fuel does or gas does. So, yeah. So, anyway, now think of flying cars. First of all, I can't see, uh, you know, millions of things flying in the air. It just doesn't make sense. But even if they did, they would have to update everything around to, to accommodate these things. You'd have to have rooftops that accommodate, let's say you work at a place that has 100 employees. Well, where are they landing them? In the street? Well, I can imagine how that would go. Um, that would, that could, that's going to be a catastrophe. But, you know, you're going to have these things that land on a roof or a platform, and then they'll get automated. They'll be brought down into different levels and then parked or whatever. They already have these things out there now that do regular cars. In fact, a lot of, uh, I think Volkswagen, i just seen a documentary where they, every time they, their manufacturing plant rather has, um, they build X amount of cars a day and it's actually literally put away from automated. It's like brings down into this level or up in this level and just push, push into a slot. Um, that's the way these are going to be. They have to be accommodated. So don't expect to see a car, a flying car that you and I are going to be able to fly for a long time. It's going to be at least 100 years. So my point is this. Why would it be hard? See, this is what I don't get. They, people are okay. They're completely on board with what they're seeing in these pictures, whether the videos I do, Will does, a lot, you know, uh, Amazon KC, uh, Space Cadet, all of these people that are doing these videos, you can see mechanical parts. People are okay with it, and they're down with that. You know, you've got electronic parts, cables, so on and so forth. They're okay with that. I showed you satellite pictures of structures that look just like ours. Some people say, you know, look, I see military it looks like a military outpost on this, uh, in some of these pictures. Okay, but you say the word vehicle, oh, wait a minute, you crossed the line. This is retarded. Well, no, it's not. How are these people getting around? Do every, does everybody think that, you know, it's like a George Jetsons or the Jetsons vehicles that they're flying around? Why? You know, what's the, you know, I don't get it. 
Uh, you know, and that's always puzzled me. You know, why people automatically assume that they were way ahead of us. Let's say tomorrow we had a catastrophic event, whether it be nuclear or natural. Maybe it's a super volcano, dispute all ash. We go into a, uh, uh, basically a, a winter, a nuclear winter kind of thing, and kills off everything on the planet. We're going to be stuck. Everything we built is going to be stuck and frozen in time. Another civilization comes along, and they do the same thing we did. I think we we've, we've done back in the even probably 30s or 40s, let alone 60s and 70s. Um, they send a probe to our planet and go, "Oh wow, what are these things? What is all these? Well, these look like structures, obviously, but what are these other things? All these thousands of these or millions of these things on these? They what look like road? Must be the transportation devices. Well, as they're evolving their technology, they come up to our point." where we've built and they go because back you know keep in mind back then we didn't have the technology or the machines to build the cars we have today so we had crude machines back in like in model a's so on and so forth we look at the cars now compared to what they were uh, it's ungodly now so now these people come up and they they finally make it to where they've evolved the technology and they look and they go well we're about in the same place they were well there you go so it's not far-fetched to believe that they had vehicles anyway what I mean by that is when you look at these particular cars, we've got air cars like this one here, these little uh, pods, and of course that kind of goofy looking and ugly, but this one not so much, and it shows you right here how the car will run, you know, the, the Mini Cat can reach speeds of around 60 miles an hour and cover more than 100 miles, you know, powered only by compressed air. Okay, you basically have an engine with pistons. The difference is it's not, these pistons are not being pushed downward by combustion or like an explosion in these cylinders being pushed down by air so there is no emissions um you basically just it's got a pump in here you plug it in it pumps the air into these tanks and you're off and running so it's not completely you know not costing it's costing for electricity so common sense but um compared to what you know the fuel or the emissions and you know it it definitely surpasses it's definitely a better way um at least towards the in the future then you've got these Cars that are concept cars like this one here. The thorium-fueled autom uh, automobile engine needs refueling once a century, once every hundred years, guys. There is now over, over one billion cars traveling roads around the world directly and indirectly, costing trillions of dollars in material resources, time, and noxious emissions. Imagine all of these cars running cleanly for a hundred years on just eight grams of fuel each. That's insane. Now, this is a uh, you can see where it's a Cadillac concept. But guess what? Look how space age it looks, but it still has wheels, guys. So don't expect to see these cars with wheels and so forth just disappear tomorrow. Anyway, you know, you got the Tesla here. It's one of the fastest cars out there, and it's electric. It's fully electric. Um, shows one right here. Again, it's plugged in. You can see the cord going right here into a charging station. Again, if you have an EV, a fully electric car, what fuel station... You can't, you can't go to any fuel station and it's going to have a plug-in. At least not the rapid plug-in ones. Um, I think this one over here, this is the car that runs on water. Uh, they have them run on water, electric. I mean, so here's my point. Cars, the concept of car, meaning doors, whatever way you get in out of it, and wheels. It's not going to change. It's going to stick around. The difference is the car is going to become sleeker. More high technology inside the car, meaning more, you know, creature comforts and so on and so forth. And then... The way they're powered is going to change. You'll probably have fusion-powered cars soon. Uh, kind of like the, the Curiosity, only a lot safer, you know, because it's going to be in a public vehicle. And it's just going to produce electricity driving these electric motors. Then that, those parts will change about the vehicle, but the vehicle itself concept will not go away simply. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's move on. This is the pictures, and this is from F Sol 510. Now, check this out. And, of course, it's really hard to see, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But in my video, I showed what looks like a railing right here, right there, and it goes all the way down. Now, they use this frog-eyed lens crap. I don't know why, but they did. And if you notice, they phased it out. You don't see it anymore. But here's the, the anomaly that shows up the best. Now, I'm not saying it's the only one because there's one here, and these things go all the way down. There's one back here. And if you watch my video, it's called Update on the Road with Cars, and it was done January 21st. Go check that out. I actually cover this. It looks like this car, there's one behind it going this way. There's one in front of this one going this way, and you can see the windshield to it facing that way. It looks like a car, it was like a multiple car pileup. Picture like um, you're, you're on the freeway today, and all of a sudden this catastrophic event comes, you know, like there's a meteor come down, a kablooey. Everybody just 
they're so busy looking at the sky that they there's a mass collision. So, and of course, everybody's trying to run from it or whatever. And of course, this is all speculation, but that's not the point. Um, and then people will say, well, Chris, well, why would they go out of their way to show that, but hide the ones that are in front of it? Well, it's funny you ask, because guess what? They do hide it. You go back to here, this is in five days later, and guess what? You can only see the top of it. This is like the roof goes slants down, the side window, and then you get the body of the car. Now, if I go back right here, you can see the window. It looks like the side window. I'm going to bring it in more so you guys can see this. Right here, wheel. Do you see the top of the wheel over the railing? The front one over the railing, front of the car, and there's another one here. Here's the body of it. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to outline it everything for you guys. And there's the railing that's running all the way. And what I also do in this picture is I, in my video, I actually uh, use what they call a, uh, I'm trying to remember if it was, it was a, it was, it was a distortion uh, tool that you can actually try to straighten this out. Okay. Now, let me jump into here. I don't want to make this super long, but here's the picture now. Again, my the techniques have gotten better, and of course, my software is better too. So... So now I rotated the picture, and you can see it's rotated about, well, it says zero degrees there, but it's not, because I cut and pasted this particular one. Um, but anyway, it's rotated a little bit. You can see the picture right here, the top. But here's the railing. Here's the car. Now I want to show you something, and I'm going to show you this a little bit better in a second. There's another one. You can see the rooftop. Here's, here's the rooftop of this car. It goes like this, runs down. Here's a side window. It looks like it might be a mirror. There's an actual door handle. There's a the seam of the door, and here's the other seam. Here's the wheel just over the guardrail, and you can see it right here. And it looks like you can actually see it under the rail, too, because this is not solid. And here's the body of the car. Okay? Now, that's what it looks like. I'm not saying 1,000% it, it is, but when you look at these pictures, it looks like another one right here. You can see right here going up, and you can see another wheel. Well, one here one here and it looks like it's facing that way and you looks like you can see the side window with a mirror now again these are just shadows so it's kind of hard to tell and just before that it looks i mean in front of this one looks like a car is facing this way and you can see what looks like the windshield right here and the rooftop would be right here now again their vehicles may have almost looked the same as ours but that doesn't mean they are they could be powered totally differently now now i want to go ahead and a shop is just a hair <coughs> to try to bring out a little bit more of it. And then what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the docking area. Now, what I do is I outline for you guys, and I'm also going to outline it again. But this, I'll show you where I made the mistake. Okay, this is the railing. Here's your wheels just over the railing. Side window here. Rooftop, back of the car. Some weird design to it. The door, door handle, and the actual piece. Now, when I go back, you can see that. Door handle, rest of the car. This is where I made the mistake right here I actually went into that other car and that was by accident of course but let me show you right here you can see where it goes like this comes down goes like this well it's more of a slant like this here and of course you can't really see that but it does this and you don't see the rest of the car but regardless if I do it this way let me just put this up just a hair bit more so you guys can see that Okay, you can see right here, there's a line, goes like this, goes back down, and then goes like this. It has that, well, almost like that. So, it actually has this weird shape this way, and very faintly you can see it going like this, and like this. So, there is something else facing this direction. Um, well, we'll do it this way. Going off in this direction. You've got this one right here. And like I said, people are like, well, I don't understand. Why would they show that? And like I showed you in the other pictures, they hit it. There's the one, and there's the other. You can barely see that. They've added this piece right here, this ground. If that is, where's the railing all of a sudden? Everything's gone compared to this one. And you can clearly see that even with their pitches and not doing a thing to it. Right there. There's the railing running all the way along. And there's was that anomaly in question. Where did it go? It's totally gone. It's not there. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's... I, I outlined it here, and I showed you guys what I think. Again, 
Now there's one, like I said, this looks like another one right here. Looks like it goes up. Here's the side window, goes down like this. Here's the nose of the car. Goes down like this. Here's a wheel well. And you can see something looks like it goes down like this here. Now I'm not saying that's what this is. It looks like a shadow of one. And you can just see it right there. And then of course, here's your railing running like this here. And of course, I'm doing a kind of a sloppy job, but you get the idea. So, yeah, I mean, this is just, you know, when you look at this thing, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm going to put this in a yellow filter and see if that's a little bit better. Sometimes it pops things out a little bit better, a little bit clearer. Now, now what I do is, like I said, I change this to try to stretch. So instead of having this curvature like you see here, this is what I did. Now, this is from, this is a, a capture, screen capture from my video. And you can see, picture this rover sitting right here. You can see the shadow of it right here in the foreground. It's literally looking at a side of a road what looks like vehicles all in it. And the crazy thing about it is when you do this, I mean, let me just go ahead and do this. Right here, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like another one sitting right here. Like this here. Now, here's that other one right here I showed you guys. Here's the, well, kind of did a sloppy job of that. But let me do it like this. Goes down. I was like that. This is what you see of the car because it's behind the other. It's behind this one here. And it looks like it's running this way. But there's another right here. Looks like it goes down like this. Almost like, I'm going to use the term convertible because it looks like it's... But again, you just barely see like something right there. And I don't even know what to make of this mess here. But there's something. And it's like there's something there. There's another one here. There's another one right here. And they're all over the place. And it looks like it keeps going. Whatever this is... This thing continues to go on. If you notice this railing, it con continues all the way to hell down. And you can see with there's multiple things. There's, there's, there's more than one because there's one right here behind it. There's another one here I showed you. This one, another one, and it keeps going on and on and on. So my first, you know, when I think of what I see here on Earth, as I think of when I see what looks like a railing, and I'm saying what looks like, and I see what looks like a car, my assumption is these are all cars in a line. Now, maybe I'm way off base, guys. You can tell me. But me personally, I seen this and I was just like, whoa. And this is not the first video. Now, again, people, you know, a lot of people are on board with this. And a lot of people are like, he's lost his mind. Why is it so hard to believe that we could, you know, that Mars could have cars similar? I'm not saying exactly, uh, but just like ours. That's my question. And, and like I said, the... If you watch my video, you'll see like a lot of grayscaling up here in the air um, where the sky would be here. Um, you can see a lot of it more than this because the software I was using wasn't that great. So I was able to bring out this a little bit better and just shop it just a hair bit and then show you the, the picture. And then here's the God railing. And what I'm saying is it's like, guys, come on. You can clearly see this thing. It looks like some kind of weird vehicle. And another one, like I said, right here, you can see that we're just faintly over the red... The, the, the rooftop, and you got the windshield, and then you can see it goes like this, and then, of course, it disappears. It looks like everything was just a mass collision, like this multiple car collision uh, on this road. Now, am I correct? You guys give me your thoughts on it. If it's not a car, and I'm okay with that because I'm not saying 1,000%, uh, I'm just guessing and speculating. But <laughs> what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see these types of things? Um, like I said, just running along like this, Completely almost straight because I'm not showing you straight because I'm actually doing this and the funny thing about it is they decided to use this frog eye Lens when you could clearly see this thing looks almost completely straight You know what I mean almost completely straight and then you've got these things in front of each other Like I said you got the one here There's one in front of that right here just barely and then you've got these here And you can see it's separated There's one here There's one here and it keeps going it looks like this one's almost on top of the other one look at this Looks like it's almost on top of this other one right here. And it looks like it, well, I wouldn't say that's a wheel, but almost kind of looks like something round right there or something there. But there's almost all in a row. What does that? This is clearly not nature. I mean, you can see that. So, guys, give me your take on this. I'm kind of passionate about this because, you know, it's frustrating if people, like I said, they'll accept everything else, whether they're structures, you know, machine parts, what look like military bases. I've showed you, like I said, I showed you satellite pictures that clearly show buildings just like ours. And yet, oh, wait a minute, if there's a car in there, it's off limits. It just simply doesn't make sense to me. And if, let's just say a hypothetical. Let's say this is absolutely true. Look at this rover, how close it is, and how it's looking at this. 
you can see here's the wheels and here's the rover it's literally looking at the side of a road of these if that's true i'm saying if these are real wow and picture seeing it in much more clarity that's where your hair would stand on end because man you'd be seeing something from another planet that had technical stuff very similar or what we have is very similar to theirs that's crazy it's it's insane because they're seeing this firsthand and they're just seeing this stuff and i'm going whoa now if this doesn't look like an automobile or i'm not saying it doesn't even have to be a, i'm going to use the term vehicle i like the word vehicle because a vehicle is anything that will carry a passenger so you can call these you know like i said bat tubs with wheels if you like i don't care what you call them does that look like a rock to you does it look or does it look intelligently made give me your thoughts on it um I've always thought, when I've seen this, I'm saying, why? Why is it an impossibility to see some kind of vehicle that they would drive around in? Hell, if they're building buildings, they've got, they've got um, they're obviously manufacturing uh, things because they have to build, to, uh, you know, they have to make steel and do all kinds of crazy things. They've got jobs, so they must have jobs like you and I do, which sounds silly because you're thinking of Mars, but if that's true and they're building these things, they have to get around. You know, and for some reason, people think, oh, right off the bat, oh, they must have cars like the Jetsons. No, hell, we don't. We're, we're advanced. We're pretty advanced. And most people say, well, we're, you know, we're like, they might have been thousands of years advanced. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I really don't. And like I said, they might have, we might have caught up to where they were before, you know, you know, at the time when they had their catastrophic event and everything came to a halt. And what we're seeing now is their civilization frozen in time. And now we're up to their their technological advancements. So that's why I got people going, well, how would they possibly have cars like ours, uh, uh, on, our, like ours on, on Mars? It's the other way around. I think we've seen what they had, and we tried to copy. Of course, we couldn't do it until we got more advanced ourselves. But anyway, this is my theories. I'm not saying that everybody has to agree. Give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Is it is it possible there's any kind of vehicles on there? Do you think they're nothing more than rocks? Um, but please don't come out with a stupid comment because I will just automatically erase you. And I'm not talking about my subs. I'm talking about the people who are just jumping on board. Uh, these people are just, I call them transients because they're just there to watch the video. Uh, a lot of them will not do their uh, homework on this stuff and, uh, you know, and just try to give it some thought and try to be open-minded about it. I'm okay if people go, no, I disagree. I just think it's, you know, it, it may be a structure, maybe something else, and they just happen to be all in a row. Okay share it i'm okay with that i'm even i'm even you know down for a good uh, debate but the second they start talking like three-year-olds i just throw them off the page it's just simply not worth my time and effort and i'll do that to everybody that does that um give me your thoughts i'm, I'm down with it give me a, a friendly debate i'm down with that start talking stupid see ya <laughs> i mean i just don't have time you know i just uh, you know i'd rather talk to the people who are subs uh, or people who have an open mind, they're willing to, maybe it's a possibility kind of attitude. I'm not saying they have to agree, but just, is it a possibility? Is it is it something else? Is it structures? Do you think it's just strictly just naturally occurring? Let me know. Anyway, guys, don't want to take up any more of your time. It's been long enough. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching anyway, uh, especially right to the end. Um, but anyway, got some other one, some cool ones coming up. I still do have them tube ones coming up. I promise you they're coming. Um, in fact, I'm going to try to get on the next one or two videos uh, so I can get that one done as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I'll see you next pick.